Hey guys, so any of you who have been watching my channel recently know that I am traveling in Turkey. So I decided it would be a good video to make after being in Istanbul for about 10 days. I compiled a list of the top 10 things that you absolutely have to do when you're in Istanbul. Istanbul is such a large city, it can seem overwhelming. It's the only city in the world that's spread over two different continents and there's just so much to see. So let's go ahead and dive in. So the first spot I'm going to talk about is arguably the most famous in the city, it's the Hagia Sophia. The Hagia Sophia is an important Byzantine structure in Istanbul and one of the world's greatest monuments. It was built as a Christian church in the 6th century and in recent years has become a mosque and then a museum and a mosque again. The building reflects the religious changes that have played out in the region over the centuries. Number two is the Blue Mosque, which is right across from the Hagia Sophia in the same complex. The official name for the Blue Mosque is the Sultan Ahmad Mosque, and it is an Ottoman era historical imperial mosque. It was constructed between 1609 and 1616. It has hand painted blue tiles in the interior of the mosque, and at night it's bathed in blue lights. It also has five main domes, six minarets, and eight secondary domes. Number three is the Suleimani Mosque. This mosque is an Ottoman imperial mosque dated back to 1550. For 462 years, it was the largest mosque in the city. And now today, it is one of the best known sites in Istanbul. From its location on the third hill, it commands an extensive view of the city around the Golden Horn. Number four is Gulhain Park. Gulhain Park is a historical urban park on the grounds of the Top Kapi Palace. It is the oldest and one of the most expansive public parks in Istanbul. Number five is Galata Tower. The Galata Tower is a medieval stone tower in the Galata Karakoy quarter of Istanbul. It is a high cone capped cylinder that dominates the skyline and offers a panoramic vista of Istanbul's historic peninsula. Number six is Istiklal Street. This street is historically known as the Grand Avenue of Para and one of the most famous avenues in all of Istanbul. It's visited by nearly 3 million people in a single day over the course of weekends. This area is located near Taksim Square and it's great for shopping and restaurants. Number seven is this baklava shop. I'm not even gonna attempt to say the name. The family who owns the shop has been in the baklava business since the year 1820. But they opened up their first baklava shop in 1949 and this is actually the first baklava shop in all of Istanbul. Now I'm not gonna lie to you and say it's the best baklava I've ever had. I do think I've had better but I still think it's important to go because of the history because it's the first baklava shop to ever open and it's still there today. Number eight is to go shopping in the Grand Bazaar. The Grand Bazaar in Istanbul is one of the largest and oldest covered markets in the world. Construction started in 1455 and it now has 61 covered streets and over 4,000 stalls. It's a great place to spend a morning or an afternoon shopping for pretty much anything you can ask for from Turkish products, souvenirs, or even grabbing a cup of tea. Number 9 is the Balat neighborhood. Balat is one of the oldest and most spectacular districts in all of Istanbul. You've probably seen those photos before of the colorful houses all in a row. That's in Balat. I just posted a video last week of a foodie tour here, and that's honestly one of the best things to do. Just walk around, take photos of the colorful houses, try all the wonderful cafes and restaurants, and just relax. Finally, that brings us to number 10, which is the Katakoy neighborhood. Katakoy is the only place on this list that's on the Asian side of the city. It's one of the fastest growing districts in all of Istanbul and filled with great shopping, fine dining, and entertainment. It also has nice promenades along the waterside and great parks to watch the sunset. It definitely feels more trendy and hipster, lots of really cool coffee shops and vintage stores. 
there you have it. That's the top 10 things, in my opinion, to do in all of Istanbul. I really hope you have enough time to see all of these different areas in Istanbul because they're all so unique. They almost feel like they're all their own little cities within the big city of Istanbul. I stayed in Istanbul for about 10 days, so I was lucky enough to actually be able to stay in each of these neighborhoods, which again, I recommend if you have the time. But if you don't, my favorite area was the Old Town District, and that's where my favorite hotel was too. So if you don't have enough time to actually move and stay in all the districts, you can definitely just stay in Old Town and take some day trips around to Katakoy and to Galata Tower area if you want. I hope you found this video helpful when planning your trip to Istanbul. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.